Friday, it's Friday. Yeah, yeah, it's Friday. Hey guys, it's Stacey J from Stacey J Studio. And this is my studio. And today is Friday, and which it is hashtag Friday Sews. Yeah, okay, that might have been a little bit too upbeat. Anyway, hi guys. <laughs> Big shout out to Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room for starting this hashtag and bringing us like minded, wonderful people together. So welcome anyone that's new. Welcome. I don't usually start my vlogs like that, but hey, something's got to be upbeat. If you saw the weather, yeah, she probably can't. Okay. For some reason, my recording just stopped and I said, you can't see the weather, but it is not a pretty sight out there. It is hammering down. Wind was gushing like a gushing thing. So busy week. I'm plugged into the... um. <clears throat> power cord at the minute it's been a busy week okay we had no we did not have monday off monday was not a public holiday for us here on wellingtonius wellingtonian wellatopia wellatopia there you go i'm gonna move you all don't feel too drunk um but as you know i had a lot of um uh, school stuff to do so i have had school skirts school blazers uh, back to work trousers i unpicked black pants and put the zip in uh removed the zip from them and rehemmed them for somebody else um shot through to paterni spelt pet one um for a measure up and then thought oh might have COVID because she was sick the following day. What else have I done this week? I have. Now, this is where I'm going to go and get all technical on you guys. Technical on your. Right. I have two dresses I'm making. I'm making two dresses. Two dresses. Um, one of them is the flounce dress. Okay, that is actually in with all my other, um, this is my sewing revival information about how to make. So I'm going to be making that, but I haven't cut that out. I just want to see if this is my client's info. I blink I took it out, didn't I? Stacey, Joanne, what you doing? Okay, there we go. Still no. Okay, right, because I, I don't like to be organised. I hate being organised because being organised just makes me forget more stuff. But I am making a dress from Stylark, which I read that the armholes um, ride big. Oh, Mr. Christopher is him. Uh, that rides big. So I made a quick mock-up, and I'll show you that mock-up. Oh, here's their information. I'll put it all together. That's me being organised and forgetful at the same time. Right. I'm sitting on the challenge. I'm hydrating. I'm going to hydrate before tomorrow night. Tomorrow night's cocktail night with Queenie. Right. So I'm making the... Here we go. The Easter dress by Stylark. Okay, so I made a mock-up of it. This is just, and I just wanted it down to go over the hips a bit. Okay. Mabel, you smell like a dog. So I wanted to um, just do a, yes, sorry about the yellow. I have fabric yards and 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 bolts of this fabric. So I took in minimal on the, on the armhole and I got reduced in the sway back. Yeah, 90% of the population has a sway back. Why don't they make patterns to fit that? So I took a good, I think that's two and a half, five centimeters out of the spine. And so there it is, okay? Now, the bus was too tight. The armholes were pretty good. And I didn't really want to alter anything else in the pattern. So, so I came up with a winner I did a full bust adjustment I took in at the armholes and I removed this way back so full bust adjustment there okay got rid of the sway back so got rid of the fabric in the back and I am going to stand by and call us 
talk amongst yourselves. Why do I always forget where I put stuff? Where's your box? Where's your box of tricks? Oh, there it is. Right, so I'm going to give you, and we have wanted a certain length, which is longer than the um, average of what it is. Right, so there you can see the word sway added in there, and you can see the fabric I took out of her sway back. That's a the back. My hair's a bit peacocky today, okay, so I don't know what happened when I was blow drying it, but peacock happened to it. Okay, here's my full bus adjustment. Okay, opened it up. And then I, full bus adjustment in the front. Oh, then the armhole. You can see there I've taken in that little bit of armhole. Might actually release that just to, she's quite comfortable. She's come and tried it on. That's why that, and of course I added four centimeters and the four centimeters is the actual hem roll up, okay? so. She's happy with that. That was marked. Everything was marked. She's happy with it all. So there you go. And FBA, I was going to just make it a size 16, but take in at the armpits. And I just went, oh, Stacey Joanne, just make it FBA. So Stacey Joanne made it FBA. So she's a very happy camper. And I'll be making that out of this purple fabric, which... I've already washed and I put it in the dryer, then I washed it again and hung it on the line because you don't iron this because it goes flat out. We don't want it flat out when it's not meant to be. Could you imagine? Could you imagine what's the point of having sea sucker if she sucker, sea sucker, if it's um, you know that. So that's what I've done today for my client. And what have I done for me? What have you done for me lately? Okay. I had, as you know, I had cut out the Be Mine Balloon Sleeve from Patton Emporium. And I've made her. I had my client, client show up at 9, 9 o'clock today. To collect his pants. We chatted for a bit. He is a um, lieutenant colonel from the army that I knew when I was um, working on camp. And um, then at 11, it was pushed out to 11. She got there about quarter to 10 to me. And um, my client tried it on. So while I was killing time, I was ballooning it up. So I'm going to show you my Be Mine Balloon Sleeve blouse. I've not even tried it on. So it could be an hysterical bending over almost wet my pants laughter or it's like a hey not too shabby let's see up oh, before i get down and naked this shirt is a new look 6407 okay it's this one here i don't know if i like it this, it's, this isn't long enough if I was going to make it again, which I am. I'm going to make it in the green to go with the rose skirt, remember? <laughs> remember? And it would also be softer. This is like lined with a cotton as well because it was, um, oh, let's see. Sorry, I don't want to see too much. <laughs> mm, nobody wants that. So I, yeah. Oh, this was born, bought in Dunedin. So that is what I'm wearing today. On the top, on the bottom is a pair of um, ready to wears. I found them in my house, put them on, and they are actually quite a comfortable style. You know how we can take fabric out of the back of our, you know, clothing for sway backs and things like that? Why can't we take it, you know, like we don't want the puku anymore. Let's just remove that physically, like from your flesh. What do you guys call it? A baby pouch. Maybe pooch? No, maybe. Oh. Anyway, let's see. That's what I'm making. Looking like wearing. Okay, let's see. I didn't even hold against myself. 
I will go through the pattern when I've got it on. Okay, so this is the neckline. Okay, and check it out. Let's it out. I believe I. You want to go see father? You want to go see father? You don't want to go out there. You don't like that weather. Can we go inside the house here? Yeah? Off your trotty, little lotty. I love the sleeves. Love the sleeves. That is what sold me on it. Now, I bought this last year when it first came out and Kirsten from um, Society, uh, Dahlia Society, said, hey, it's brand new out. Buy it from me. Get 20% uh, off. <laughs> Lawyers. Anyway, so... Um, so I ordered it straight away, got it printed off, and sorry, it's just, it's just I think it's just the lawyer, lawyers, and lawyers, and more lawyers. Anyway, so this is it. So this is with the deeper neck. So this is the low neck, or well, I don't know what they call it. And it's got the little bobbly thing at the back with the button. See? And um, I keep doing that. I notice I do that all the time. Um, and the sleeves, I love the sleeves. And at the minute, because of my little, I've been doing a side tuck here. Okay, the bottom is um, got it's facing, and I have blind hemmed it on the blind hem machine to give it the hey, you can't see this. So, what can I tell you about this top? I have literally. It just got off the press, of the hot press. I'll go get the distractions and let's go for a ride. I will be making this top again. I quite, I think I like it. And I made the full bust adjustment one, I believe. And yeah. I think, I think I do like it. I think I do like it. And maybe next time I'll just do the rolled hem. Because I didn't read the distractions to start with. I just, you know, cut it out. Oh, <laughs> don't forget to cut out number six. Oh, I thought number six was just cut this on the bias and gave you measurements. But, you know, there's a piece for the, um, this, the binding around the armholes. Which it just falls into place. This is a very, I feel very comfortable, very easy pattern. There are a few things that I don't like about it. Okay, I have got the um, the lower neckline because, and I'd love to see it in a V. Just saying, but I didn't undo that. That's done up, and that will never get undone. So that's fussing and farting around that I did not need to do. To make that i could have just joined it right up to the top join the facing on the actual top up the back there and it would have all gone in, in as one piece but however it looks very smart i'm quite happy with how smart it looks it looks as smart as me <laughs> anywho or anyhow depends on what you want to say you come to basically you go through and I did the darts first. I'm a up and dart first kind of girl. And then I did um, the reinforcing on the neckline, the um, stay stitch. I overlocked it. Now, I do not, do not have the seam down the front. I have my flowers uninterrupted. And my next one I make will also be un uninterrupted because um, I'm going to make my shoes and hats. You know the one, the one that I got from the Fabric Warehouse, the one that Jackie was wearing when she came down to visit. <laughs> so this is my wearable twirl, okay? So next, what am I going to say next? Okay, so I made that up. Then I did the back loop, attached that all. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Interfacing onto that. So I had to go straight to number eight because I didn't have um, the seam down the front or anything like that. Straight into my darts, 
it's good. I dance. And then ironed them, got them all sorted, and then did my um, facing. No, I didn't. I attached. Ah. Attached front and back. Okay. Happy. Everything fell into place. Lovely, lovely. And they then said, join your facings. Done that. Attach my facings. And make sure if you are going to do the split that you don't go all the way up. You go to where the notches are. Faced, top stitched, uh, uh, understitched, sorry, around. You can see that there. I think my hardest challenge was deciding what colour stitching I was going to have. Well, pink or green or grey. Pink it was. That's why my button's pink. Can you see my pink button? You should be able to see my pink button because I've only spun around three, three million times. All right, so I went through, got all to the... Uh, Attach my lump. That was so easy. So fell into place. Even with the little loopy scoopy thing. Fell into place. I did not want to top stitch around here. Around my facing down. So I have my stay stitches and my um, seams and my shoulders. That's what I like it. Um, you just got to be very aware that you're doing your under stitching and making that all sit nice and flat. And of course that's all... Um, Right, okay, so my whole phone went flat. I forgot to charge my phone last night. Anyway, back to the sleeves. Um, I Easy, easy to put in. As it says here in the instructions, do one row across the top and two along the bottom. Now, normally, if you are, well, I was taught to do three, two, then a big one. Just do one at the top. You only need one. That's all you need because it's um, it fits. It fits in there. You don't even need to gather it in almost like zero in this. However, the bottom, yeah, let's gather that beast. Look at it. Look at it. It's gorgeous. But this is where I come into not liking how they've done it. They attached the bias, okay, so they put the bias, there's a mark, you pin, the, you pin it, get the edge to the edge, you gather it all in, you make it all fit, you sew it on, and then you fold it over and you make the bias, which then, when the sleeve gets sewn up, it leaves a raw edge, raw, right? I don't like that. I don't like that. I just I just don't like the the finish not to be finished, like, that's finished. There's nothing outside of that bias. So I did it differently. Did it incredibly wrong. Like when I was doing it, I'm just like, going, uh, what was I thinking? What a twat. I did it us about face, really, to be honest. Okay, so what they want you to do, and they're such good instructions. What they want you to do is, I'm going to try and find where they... When they attach the sleeve all the way down, all the way down, right, which is always fun because that's way better and easier. See how they've done this, the overlocking, and then they, they thread it into it. And, and to me, it's not a finish. It's That's my brain. It's how my little brain works. So I sewed... I didn't, I didn't finish off the bias until the seam was sewn into the um, and sleeve was sewn and, and the side seams were sewn and something has gone a skew whiff with my bra. Oh, okay, someone's at the gate. I will stand here and um, actually I'm going to stop it. It's my eggs on. Okay, anyway, so don't like that finishing and I, like I said, I did, if I thought about it before, like I said, you know how you get a recipe and you get the ingredients, you make sure you have all the ingredients and read through the recipe to make sure you're going to make it right, make sure you put the oven on, blah, blah, blah. Well, I did not read, I had the ingredients list, I just did not read the instructions and I don't think I would have liked it then either. Probably would have found a different way to have done it than that. And right now, off the top of my head, still don't know how I would do it. And I'm quite happy with that. It was just a dumb way to do it. Which was, yeah, a dumb way to do it. So, that I wasn't happy about. And then I added the facing and used my blind hemmer. Used my blind hemmer to... Um, 
do the facing up. Look at that. I know it's grey. You can see the grey stitching. But that was the closest I thought would go if, 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 if any was showing around this. So I think it is quite nice. I Actually, looking at that one, I almost changed my mind and put elastic around it, but not on my first one, I don't think. I quite, um, and I love Ombrodia's ombre. <sighs> the holy fabric. I know you're all yelling it. I love it when you guys yell at me and telling me how to say something or, or getting inside my little tiny itty bitty mind and saying what the word is. Brody on glaze. I never know how, if I'm saying that word right anyway. So I usually mumble my way through it. Um, talking to the Lieutenant Colonel today about um, dyslexia. And he was trying to explain something to me. I said, no, no, no. This is what it's like. Oh, I said, yeah. It's not pronunciation. It's brain association. It's really mental. Anyway, so I have finally, 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 finally made my balloon sleeve be mine by the Pattern Emporium shirt. And I can easily say... I'm happy with it. It looks, I mean, it like everything, it drapes down from my bust. Hence the reason I do the whole tucky in thing. But I'd do the tucky in thing with not these high pants, I don't think. Anyway, I like the top. And if you're making one, or well, one of my lovelies has made five, show off much. Um... You will be happy. You'll be happy at the end of it. I like the deeper scoop. I like more flesh. Makes me feel smaller because um, too much flesh up here makes me feel like I'm just fabric. I had this woman who was a, um, she was an officer, just 6'1", very tall lady. And she had to go to the officer's mess ball, and she uh, she was in the army. And you wear a red um, waisted vest jacket, and you wear a long black skirt when you are a female officer. And she said, I feel like I'm just a sheet of fabric. And I said to her, because you're so tall, you all feel like that because you only look in the mirror and just see a head and fabric. And she was like, Ugh. I said, so come on, let's do some nipping and tucking and we'll get you shaped in it properly and let's see how we go with that. And she was happy with the outcome because um, I got where she was coming from because I was clever like that. <laughs> okay, so that is my week. What else have I made this week? Oh, <laughs> I have finally, finally, finally finished the hand sewing on this little girl. Yep, finally finished it. I spent hand sewing all that. The hems all hand sewing all the way through around here. I do need to go inside it. I want to go inside it and I want to um, uh, trim off. The rest of the hem, I just sort of fold it under and make sure it fitted and everything like that. And I'll go inside and do that. And then I've got 50,000 buttonholes to do. I did think of sewing on my blue buttons. These are my blue buttons. See, that's a reminder. I have not done it yet. My blue buttons. Just plain dinky old blue buttons with red thread. Now, why I thought of doing red thread. Red thread. Say that five times when you've been drinking. I have any drinking on us, it's only water. Um, it's because on each that's got flowers, a little like tiny dinky red uh, blue flowers with red blue flowers, red thorns, blue flowers, red thorns. Movie, go tell me what movie that's from. And um so I did think about that today when I was actually marking my um shoulders and some of my notches that go into the gatherings so that you don't lose the notch. There's nothing worse than gathering but jingers out of something and losing your notches. So that's when I use something that's quite prominent about that. 
Um, so I did do that. That's what else. I knew I'd done something else, and that's at night. So I'm sitting up. I actually had to get it out of the lounge because the sanding off the stopping down in the other room, which was floating all the way up because doors were left open when the sanding was happening before the sander machine, and that's awesome, came about. Did you get that? And so um, that... I had to get that done. It was just sitting in another spot getting sunburnt. Next step, buttonholes. And um, so next week I've got to make, I'm going to make my tops, uh, my dresses for my lady and get that done. I do not believe I have much else on. Oh, I have a public holiday on Tuesday. It's uh, Waitangi Day. Oh God, I hope I'm right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my tiny day, the 6th of um, February. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, so I've got a public holiday um, and I'll be just making dresses. I'll probably want to do a mock-up of the um, other one and I might actually read up on this one. In regards to the armholes, you know what? There wasn't much wrong with the armholes on the other one. I just obviously picked the right size for the armholes. But, of course, I didn't do a full bust adjustment. I don't like it when people sneak up behind me. I just saw Chris's car and I was like, oh, there's a car in the driveway. And that's when I spun and saw it. So that's me. What else has happened in our life? We are still not finished with the bedroom downstairs. Uh, Victoria stayed with us this week um, in hopes that she was going to get to paint it. But alas, no, Mr. Christopher is still not um, content with the level of stopping that's gone on in there. So, no. So, which means that tomorrow night when Queenie's here, I won't have the pretty guest room set up. I've never had a guest room. Not being a grown up, you know what I mean? I had rooms that were vacant when I was in my early 20s, but now I'm a grown up. I've already set it up my brain how I'm going to have it. So when she comes and visit, it's all set up. I said to Victoria, I said, I'm going to have this there, this there, this. I'm going to put the little bookshelf there and, and I'm going to put a, put a um, Bible in it. And she looked, a Bible? And I said, yeah, so that's what they have at hotels. She goes, and I went, I won't have a Bible in it, darling. It's okay. But I have got it all set up. Oh, well, I haven't. I, I need a duvet cover, I think. I think I need something really pretty. <gasps> Wait there. Um, you know how I bought this awesome, awesome basket to put all my um, patterns in, my my indie patterns. Well, I forgot. I didn't print out. Oh, I didn't cut, trace out number six, so I had to go back into the pattern y'all. And I'll tell you, super hard to find the pattern I was looking for. Maybe I need to rethink this. Let me show you something. Now, I don't know how long I was I bet since I've been making this, but I don't quilt. these fabrics so that's going to be like the underside of it 
I think that's what I was doing. Got all these squares and these squares and these squares and these cutoffs. Well, that might be a whole piece. That's a whole piece. It's a fat court. So I've got this, this quilt cover, or this quilt. Now it's, okay, let's say it is 166 centimeters wide, only saying that because that's how tall I am, by, that's a square, it's literally a square, what am I going to do with it? I know what I'm going to do with the wire, I'm going to hang that up so we know where it is next time we need it. But what am I going to do with it? I know finishing it's an option. I know finishing it is an option. And if I put a sewing machine up on the dining room table upstairs and every night sewed on some squares, then the option would get more. See, so like I even pin them all together. Same breeds, right? These are the scrappy scraps. I feel very disappointed in myself. I do. Don't worry, it'll pass. But I do. You know? I was keen as mustard doing this one time. I don't know what I was doing as a job at the time. I think it, this is well and truly over four years old. Look at these little bits. I kept all the scraps. I just... My brain is, why would you cut up a piece of fabric just to stick it back together? And make a sheet of fabric. So I cut up fabric and I turn it into a, something I can wear. So much good stuff here. I think I did this as pockets. Smile, inspire, think. I think actually I went to court. And I made a pair of pants to wear to court. And um, I had that in the in the waistline inside to make me um, feel confident, inspirational almost. Look at me. I didn't go to court because I was a bad person. Okay, I went to court because I because you go to court <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I won, by the way. <laughs> I came out on top. <laughs> Gotta love that. So that is something I just thought I would show you guys. Because I love nothing more than boring you with stories of my life. This is... Um... Oh, well, that's quite enough. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do, guys. I've got all the wadding, the wadding that goes inside it, all bamboo wadding to go in it. I've had that for just as long. 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 And just a cute little one. I don't like these. These are like a poly cotton. I think I want 100% cotton on it. There's a lovely place in Upper Hutt called um, Thimbles and Threads. And they have amazing fabrics so i'll probably go that's actually where i bought all my fabrics from and funnily enough the fabric on the outside of this container which i did not make i purchased i've actually got inside here <laughs> so that my friends is a quilt i have since then since starting that made a quilt for my friend's daughter when she turned one maybe two years ago now and I did it double-sided and I stuck my finger almost got caught in this needle 
the gloves that I was wearing got caught in it. That was a little bit funny. It was like one o'clock in the morning. It was her birthday the next day and I hadn't finished my quilt. And I quilted it all myself. This is going on the bridge of noses for my masks. Christopher needed it the other day. Oops. <laughs> it's mine anyway. No, no, I'm just saying. Just kidding. I just, yeah. Anyway, so uh, tell me what I'm going to do with that. I want to make something with it. I obviously want to make a quilt with it. Tell me to pull my finger out of my butt and to do it. I need something to spark me along with that. Uh, what am I doing next week? I'm going to make the two dresses. I am going to have my Tuesday off, but I will be, probably be in this room. I'm going to organize my life. <laughs> Oh, that's your joke for the day and um yeah so room's not finished downstairs queenie comes tomorrow she's leaving um early in the morning at stupid o'clock and she'll probably get down here about lunch time and she's gonna pack up her nephew and then she's coming out and we're gonna have ribs <laughs> don't know if i'm ready to eat pork yet but anyway um and the pork ribs but we're going to have rosebud cockro cock cockroaches, cocktails. Now, if you don't know what rosebud cocktails are, they have, oh, I need to go shopping. They have passion fruit pulpy stuff, uh, vanilla vodka. They have cranberry juice. They have pineapple juice. They have a squitch of lemon and friends of ours, um, got us onto it. Do you know what just went through my head then? What just went through my head was, what is her name? Oh, she's a very good friend of ours. Oh, there's something wrong with me. There is seriously, seriously, Lisa and Mike, right. Something wrong with me. <laughs> um, right, so that's that. I just, I think, what is it when you, you talk too fast, eh? And your brain is just not even keeping up with your mouth. And then it just shuts down and you just go, no, no, come on, come on. One, two. Um, and, you know, I've got my little um, special fabrics this week. So quite excited about that. Queenie loves the big star one. Oh, the star one, the glittery star one. She likes anything blingy, does our Queenie. And that's about all I've got to say for the, my, my, my generation. Oh, I'll tell you something I did do. So Victoria came in here, so she likes to come and have deep and meaningfuls with me. Like, in other words, she's deep and meaningful, and I've got to nod and say yes in the right places. Anyway, we're talking about. I, I came up with this this comment, uh, this comedian that was um, talks about the different generations. You had Gen X, your Boomers, your Silent Generation, your um, Zen Y, Gen Y, Gen Z, Gen Zs, and all those, right? And between Chris and I we've got from the boomers up right we've got the whole boomers mum's a boomer boomer anyway i was talking to her about it and i was talking and i said i you know she's funny she's oh yeah i don't like stand-up comedians blah 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 and then i started talking about her generation and how her generation which she was born in 2006 so she's gen z about how just different things and she said well i do blah 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 so i um sat there and i didn't lecture her i gave her a reasoning she came down and told me today that she actually went back upstairs after she'd spoken to me and she googled the difference between two things we were talking about and she said wow i said i'm clever eh she goes, yeah. i said tell me what you honestly thought when you left the studio after yesterday and she said I just thought you were pretty clever I went wow <laughs> yeah I am anyway guys I think I have interrupted your lives enough if you've made it to the end of this um, congratulations there will be a prize sent to you in the post and sometimes things get lost in the post no, just kidding. Thank you if you've hung out with me um, for the full, full time and duration of this um, vlog. Head towards closing. I decide to look. Um, big weekend ahead. Uh, I want you guys to stay well, warm and dry. 
even if you're in New Zealand nowadays, it's getting a bit antsy out there. Bipolar weather for sure. And I want you to keep cool. Keep on sewing. Pinky hydrate. And um, no regrets. What's the point of them? What is the point of them? Okay, guys, thanks heaps. Um, my mum got her nails done today. They look so pretty. Anyway, I'm going to go and catch up with yous. Yous. Catch up with you lovelies. Um, soon. Before you know it, you're going to see my face back on the screen and you go, what? Okay, just kidding. Catch up. Bye.